fish can help to reduce the risk of heart disease. It also lowers the levels of triglycerides in the blood and helps reduce blood clotting and abnormal heart rhythms, improving your chances of survival following a heart attack. Polyunsaturated fatty acids found in many fish may also prevent damage to brain cells, reducing the risk of Alzheimer's. A study of 2,000 people showed that those who ate seafood at least once a week had a significantly lower risk of dementia. Eating fish has also been linked to better eyesight, possible protection from prostate cancer and relief from the symptoms of arthritis. Children who eat fish are less likely to develop asthma. One of the reasons why eating fish is so beneficial is because it contains omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 are considered essential fatty acids, as we need them for our bodies to work normally. But because they're not made in the body, we must obtain them from our diet. However, not all fish have equal amounts. Oily fish such as salmon, sardines, anchovies, tuna and trout are all good sources. Researchers have found that cultures that eat foods with high levels of omega-3s have lower levels of depression. Fish oil also seems to boost the effects of antidepressants and may help reduce the symptoms of bipolar disorder. But while it's recommended to eat one or two fish meals a week, there are a couple of factors to consider. It's wise to avoid fish that's high in mercury, as this has been known to affect the central nervous system, causing numb and tingling fingers, developmental delays in children, and muscle or joint pain. Fish high in mercury include shark, swordfish, orange ruffy and southern bluefin tuna. Pregnant women, nursing mothers and children up to six years old should limit the consumption of these varieties. You also want to pay attention to the sustainability of fish which you buy. Overfishing is the practice of catching more fish than the oceans can sustain, depleting the number of fish in a population. By choosing to buy sustainable fish only, we can lower the demand for threatened species. Those species at risk which we should avoid in the UAE include hamor, kingfish, sea bream, golden trevally and spangled and snub-nosed emperorfish.